I'm going to put together a really quick um, curry uh, dish here with the uh, chickpeas or garbanzo beans. And um, I normally would do organic dried garbanzo beans or chickpeas um, and soak them and that kind of thing. But I don't have time, and this is all I have in the cupboard. So I'm going to drain off the, um, the little garbanzo beans and the chickpeas. And just grab the little colander here to rinse them. You want to make sure that you rinse them really well because you don't want any of the, uh, you want them to be as the least gassy as possible. So I'm just going to rinse these here really well. Okay, so I'm rinsing those and into the frying pan, and I preheated that just for a couple minutes. And what I'm going to do is get this going and um, add it to some potatoes. You could add this to rice if you wanted to, um, but I have potatoes that are left over from last night, and so I'm really just trying to make a really fast, tasty meal. And so I am going to use a few canned things. Every once in a while in life, you need to use a few canned things. So, I'm going to get the peel off the onion, which always seems to be a bit of a challenge for me for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just seems like onion peels don't want to come off. I probably get a lot of suggestions on that that would be really helpful. Okay, so one thing I do like to do is score the onion so that it's easy to dice. And just scoring that way, and then scoring this way. And what's nice is when you slice it, you get a nice little, little bits of diced onion. Okay, so I'm not going to do too much. I'll save the rest of that onion for something else. But I'm going to um, pick up the onions that jumped off the cutting board. Put those there. And it's always handy to have your cutting board right where you can just put things in. And a little bit of cilantro. I'm not going to put that in quite yet. I'm going to add get my onions uh, to where they're starting to where they're starting to uh, cook a little bit. Mm. Smells lovely with the garbanzo beans. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of water here too, just because my pan is getting a little dry, so that's gonna help everything to not burn while I do the garlic. So I have my Candy Dandy Garlic Maker here. And I'm just going to crush that garlic so that it peels easily. And I have to say, I am in a little bit of a hurry because um, it's been a long day and I don't really feel like cooking, so I'm going to Try and get this to go as fast as possible. That's a really good garlic crusher. I just love this one. And so when you push it like this, it just goes right in there, and your garlic goes right into your dish. It works really great. It's just an awesome little machine. So again, high heat on that, and you're going to... Um, what I'm going to do now while I'm waiting for that to cook is uh, I am going to add a little bit of lemon juice to it. A little bit of a squirt there. A squirting everywhere. Just a little bit of lemon.